I'm an actor and a director, and uh, some people think a singer, a rock and roll guy. But for the most part, I'm a lover of the arts, and that is my life. For learning all the musical disciplines and such, with a uh, heavy emphasis on popular music, rock, blues, just about anything contemporary within the last 150 years. It like takes you outside of like just a lesson viewpoint. Rhythm is the center. My philosophy is what I refer to as boom pop. It's an improvisational based thing. But we, we start with the groove and then we branch out. Now rhythm is something that everybody has too. We can teach this to the youngest of children. I think it's just like the backbone of like all like modern music. Contemporary music is the easiest to feel. Okay, so if you're a three-year-old, what are you going to do at Bach? So we have the We Rock, spelled W-E-E, -E, program, which from the three to five-year-old range, that we teach them your rhythmics and dancing and the Mr. Rod dance. All kinds of different little activities that we do that gets rhythm in their system, and music becomes a natural way of expressing yourself and it's not something that is weird and, and, and theoretical. It's something they experience and they know about it and it's like they may not be able to, to describe what they know. It's intuitive but they know about it. The rock band program is for all ages. And all we're doing is we're learning about music by playing with others, creating, we're arranging, we're doing gigs, we're putting together. Our band is our, it's like the junior achievement of, of, of rock. This is my 29th year of teaching, and this teaching came pretty easy to me because I struggled, and I know what it's like not to know and not to be able to do stuff, and not to be able to have the access to the information. How do I learn how to play that? This is more than just learning. A musical instrument. This is something that defines you as a person and it's a, it can be the fire that gets you through the tough times and it can be the creativity when it seems like life has no creativity. Why I would teach my kid music is to, to supply all the stuff necessary things in life that aren't about mathematics like self-esteem, like creativity, like the world of possibilities, like I have a say in, in how my life is to be shaped, just as I have shaped my music. This place is somewhere where you can find your algorithm. You can find that which makes you click. You can find the people who click like you. There's instruments all over the building. There's the stage. There's a computer in the back. Find your art. When people do come here for classes, and they have specific things that they come here for. But I guarantee you, because all this stuff is constantly in your face, we have people who start off for an acting class and they end up banging drums. They come in to bang drums and they end up in a musical. And I think that's, that's the positive flow of art. And what you get here is you become a part of that. You become a part of that, that ever-flowing positivity, that, that, that liquid algorithm that just keeps connecting people. I love to do it, and it gave my life purpose. I can take all the negative and positive things that happened to me in life and, and put it out in a positive way. It's more than that. It's, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. It's something to live for until you die. That's what art is for. Goodbye. Goodbye. I see you.